and this thing screamed what I've always described it as is a, like a woman screaming, real loud. Coming out to, to feed my dog, and um, as I walked through the yard, I uh, saw a shadow on the ground that passed by me. A lot of folks are hesitant to talk about it. Crazy, weird, and amazing sights and people that make up America's oddities. So not only do we have Bigfoot, but I understand there's a white Bigfoot. Uh, actually, there's been several reports of white Bigfoot in this area and just across the state line in Tennessee. It was kind of silver shiny, kind of reflective of the sun, uh, kind of rectangled looking, but you know, where it would be straight edges, it was kind of rounded off. Would it be fair to say that, that they're basically among us, we're just not aware? Yes. Tom so, Markham's on the, on the docket today. I have been looking forward to this, you have no idea. He is our regional expert on Bigfoot. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. He doesn't like to be called expert. As a matter of fact, when I spoke to him earlier, he said, anyone who calls himself an expert, you should steer completely away from. That's why you are. I'm an a, expert. You're an expert in everything that you do. I am. No, so he is our point of contact with this region for our Bigfoot and uh, alien uh, abductee. I mean, well, there's no one in our abductions. He doesn't talk about abductions. He just he talks about UFO experiences right here right. in uh, Bell County. Right. But we're here mainly for our Bigfoot, Bigfoot. white Bigfoot. The white Bigfoot. The white Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. He's got actually a map that shows the U.S. and Canada that has... I mean, hundreds of Bigfoot sightings all over it. Wow. He tags the Bigfoot and the UFO sightings uh, on this map. So you can look at the map and go, holy, right there is where I live, and there's a Bigfoot. Because they are among us. That, yeah, Bigfoot is among us. I, I, I'm, I'm guaranteed that it is. True. Who oh, guaranteed that? I guarantee it. Bigfoot is among That's us. That's because you're an expert. Now, I will say that, just, just for my own humor, that, you know, when we were out here looking for the big white the big white Bigfoot. No, you can't say the big white Bigfoot. It's well, just the white Bigfoot. Right. Well, okay. So, we're here looking for the white Bigfoot. And I guarantee you, I wanted, and I thought that Larry Bird was... Larry Bird was the Mills. Bigfoot. Yes. The white Bigfoot. The white Bigfoot. No, he's not. No. No. Neither is a Big Bird. The yellow Bigfoot. Right. Well, we haven't we haven't found the yellow Bigfoot yet. All right. So let's go to let's go meet Tom. He's got us going out in the boonie somewhere, uh, some park somewhere. Um, you know, out in the boonies in Kentucky, having not been from the state, I, I got to tell you, it's slightly disconcerting. It is. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a tad bit You know nervous. what I'm thinking? It's gonna be fun. You know. Uh, you got nothing. I got nothing. How about <laughs> again? I, I got nothing. Speechless. For a guy who never shuts up, <laughs> you put a camera in front of you and you lock up. I got. You're nothing. like a clam. I got nothing. I, you know, I, I'm curious. You know, where do they buy their socks? Bigfoot socks? Yes, that's There's, a great question. Or the suits? Are they big and tall? Uh, they no. They don't have to worry about wearing a suit. They wear it every day. It's a hair suit. Hair ah! suit is hairy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. That's yeah. ridiculous. We're in Bell County, Kentucky. And we're here to talk about Bigfoot. Right, Tom? Yes, we are. All right, excellent. So my understanding, there's been a lot of sightings. And, and... Yes, there have. I traced the history back uh, as far as I could go. I found uh, back into the 40s. But there is also a story of Daniel Boone who uh, supposedly killed a 10-foot hairy man, they called a Yahoo, but some of them thought he got it out of the Gulliver's Travels book, and you know, he was a tall tale guy. He'd like to tell a lot of stories and things so like Daniel that. So Daniel Boone may have yeah. killed a Bigfoot. A Bigfoot, yes. Wow. That was wrote about in his autobiography in 1992. Holy cow, I didn't hear that. Yeah. So tell me, Tom, what, uh, what made you want to set up a website and start tracking what's going on with Bigfoot? Well, I've always had an interest in uh, Bigfoot and UFOs and things like that. So I wanted a place where we could keep up on the recent sightings and maybe I, was, I wanted to do debunk photos and videos and things like that. And so I, I kind of started the website and it, it grew and I, I got to where I took in other people's stories. And our biggest uh, reports are coming from New Hampshire and from Oregon. Uh, recently we just cast a track 
in, in uh, Oregon that was uh, 13 to 15 inches long and about six or seven inches wide. Uh, and the track had dermal ridges. Once they cast the track, you can see dermal ridges just like you would have in your thumb. Well, that same track was found either a year or two years later in another state by a different researcher and it had the same exact dermal ridges. We get a lot of stuff sent to us by followers and you know fans and friends and uh, there's these things what they call them stick formations uh, where an array of sticks maybe are designed or put into a tree and it's intelligence that's done and it's not just a random windfall or something like that and I, you know that's trace evidence that, that builds the case. So not only do we have Bigfoot but I understand there's a white Bigfoot. Uh, actually there's been several reports of white Bigfoot in this area and just across the state line in Tennessee. Uh, not only do we have a lot of Bigfoot sightings here, we also have a lot of UFO sightings. Uh, back last year, we kind of had a little bit of a wave of UFO activity, which started on uh, April the 2nd. And then uh, in September, we had the, uh, the UFO up at uh, Wallens, which has photographs, which is which very good evidence. It's very uh, unusual. It's definitely not a conventional aircraft. I understand you have your own UFO story to share. Yes, I do. Uh, back in probably, this is probably... Uh, middle 90s me and my wife owned the business as we was going in i looked up and uh, there was this there was a perfect circle and it looked like a fluorescent light the whole thing was lit up on the bottom and it's moving real slow no sound whatsoever and i told my wife i said you know look at that and she's seen it and we've we both seen it but uh i remember thinking the thing was so low that if i'd had a rifle i could have shot it and i watched i stayed out there and watched it and it went to a mountain ridge and then turned and went right across the mountain ridge real slow. And uh, it just, I watched it too, went out of sight. And, and there's no way it could have been a conventional aircraft, helicopter, anything like that. A lot of folks are hesitant to talk about it. Right. Um, and, and only after, you know, uh, engaging in conversation are they willing to say, yeah, they'll, they'll start to own up the, yeah, they know about it. Yeah. So would it be fair to say, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't want to put any words in your mouth, but I'm going to try. You ready? Would it be fair to say that, that they're basically among us, we're just not aware? Yes. And it turns and looks at me, or I assume it was looking at me. It turned and it faced me, and it was standing like that with its arms hanging down. And I was trying to make its face out. I mean, it was solid white from top all the way down, even its arms, everything I'd see was white. Hey, so what did you think about Tom? Tom's a great guy. I mean, um, what an amazing array of information this guy had. I mean, really, from uh, his Bigfoot tracking system all the way to uh, helping turning us on to uh, UFOs. And that's another uh, interesting thing that we'll have to make sure we check out. Well, we are going to turn the UFO stuff. I think um, what's kind of cool is, you know, uh, the, the continuous searching in the area that he does. You know. He's committed, there's no getting around it. And what did I tell you? Don't call him. An expert. I, see. I tried to warn you. My curiosity goes to, is there a connection between Bigfoot and the UFO sightings? Okay, I got nothing. Nothing? I got nothing. Really? I mean, you don't see a connection there with the Bigfoot no, sightings where all the, there, look at this map. There's UFOs, Bigfoot. Right. UFOs. I have one word to sum that up. You ready? Quinky dink. Hey, look, we really gotta make a move. I know, we're gonna be late for the Steven interview. Yeah, the interview with Steven. Yeah. Who saw the white Bigfoot? Right, which is why we're here. He's on a tight line, and, and, and the big thing is, he asked us not to show his face. You know, he specifically requested, you know, kind of a blackout and alter his voice. Yes. So, because, well, and I can do that. I can do that. I mean, I, I can make. I can put him to the, the back to the window, uh, silhouette him out. We Great. Can, we can. I got the voice of the sergeant with us. We can. We can. I can on him alone. Good. Yeah. Because I hate to disappoint the guy. Um, it's the only reason why he said he was willing to do the interview. Explain to me what happened. What, uh, your experience with the big one. My experience happened. Uh, in the late 70s, it's been like 30 some years ago. I was a young teenager at the time, and uh, it's actually across from where I live now. I grew up right below where I live now, and uh, it was in the fall. Most of the leaves were already gone and everything, and uh, 
but it, it was still loud enough where you could see real good, you know, as far as even squirrel hunting, because I still had pretty good fly before I had to, you know, get out of there before dark. Well, I heard something crunching the leaves coming down the hill. Now, I'm on the hillside. So I thought it was a squirrel. So I sat there with my shotgun, you know, and kept listening. I heard it getting closer and closer, and I started seeing something white coming down the hill. I didn't know what to think. I thought, well, you know, I just was just sitting there froze, you know. I thought, what is this? Well, when it comes down where I could see better, it was walking like a man. And as far as how tall it was, I always estimate probably around seven, and a half, eight feet, somewhere in that neighborhood. I mean, there's no way I could say exactly how tall this thing was. It was, it was tall. Though. It was tall, yeah, it was a lot taller than a man. I mean, you know what? And there was no way it was as short as what we are, you know, right. you know, in that perspective. But uh, and it was walking you know, pretty long strides coming down the hill and it's slinging its arms while it was walking. And I noticed its arms were longer than a person's. They come down, I would imagine around kneecaps or something. I mean, they was a lot longer than what a person's was. And it comes on down and it probably stops about uh, no more than 40 yards from me. You know, I'm sitting here this way, it walks down the hill. It stops, like I said, no more than 40 yards, which is not that far. I didn't, you know, he's talking about flipping somebody out, man. And it turns and looks at me, or I assume it was looking at me. It turned and it faced me, and it was standing like that with its arms hanging down. And I was trying to make its face out. I mean, it was solid white from top all the way down. Even its arms, everything I'd see was white. And it looked at me probably for not, not too long, maybe five, ten seconds, which seemed like forever. We kind of sat there looking at each other. I was sitting, he was standing there. And this thing screamed, what I've always described it as is a, like a woman screaming, real loud. Now this is, this is exactly what happened. I can, you know, like I said, it's been 30 some years ago and I can see this as plain as if it was yesterday. Well this thing screamed, like I said, like a woman screaming real loud. And it turns and it takes a couple big leaps down the woods, stops, turns around back at me and there's a tree you look to be probably about that big. So this thing starts smacking this tree. And that tree, you know, I could see it going. And when it did, I made a beeline like a <laughs> rabbit back to the house. Do you think that maybe the smacking of the tree was some sort of, it was in, intentionally to scare you away, some sort of? Uh, well, at the time, I, I didn't know, but it did. I mean, it worked if that's what he was doing or right. she or whatever it was, you know, it worked. and. Uh, you know, I, I'd always heard about Bigfoot like everybody had, but, right. you know, after I got back to home, I thought, uh, well, could it have been a person? No, it was too tall. There's nobody around that I know of that was that tall. Nobody had arms as long as this thing had. So I guess it's fair to say that you're a believer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I say, that's something that I've never saw a UFO, but I, I'm right. not going to say they're not there. Right. But some things you, you have to see for yourself to believe, but you no, know, after I saw that, well, there's not a doubt in my mind. They're out there. And I have heard of people seeing what they call gray ones. Maybe, you know, it was gray. White, looked white to me, you know. But, and I still don't care, you know. I don't care who believes me and who don't. I know what I saw. It shakes a lot when you get in. <laughs> yeah, that's wrong, man. I'm trying to lose weight, all right? Yeah, well, you keep losing it and I keep yeah, finding it. Yeah. All right, here you go. Here's your info for the day. So, as you know, we're in Middlesboro, Kentucky. That's right. Uh, Tom Markham with the crypto website guy, he uh, put us in contact with all these people we're going to interview today, so there's a bunch. Okay. And um, uh, right now he has us lined up to go see Jeremy Ward. Jeremy Ward. Yes. And there's uh, him, some of the gentlemen, and his son all witnessed this uh, UFO we're going to look You at. must be talking about Donnie Skidmore. <laughs> what? Donnie Skidmore. I don't want to do Donnie that. Skidmore. Yeah, he was with Jeremy Ward when they saw the UFO. Do you think he wears uh, tiny whiteies? Oh, maybe that's how uh, we got to. Skidmore. <laughs> 
Dude, that's just wrong. It is so wrong. All right. All right, let me say for the record that I don't think for a second that that GoPro right there is going to make it. Oh, it does. It is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, yeah, it is. If you're stuttering, which means you don't <laughs> trust it either. I don't. I'm it, just hoping it doesn't fall off like last time. No, no, no. I actually, these are all down nice and solid. Yeah, this you thought that last time. I know. No, don't be messing with your I'm cam. just straightening it out. Don't touch it. I hit the bumps. Yeah, whatever. Slide on cam. You know what? If that camera hadn't been there, you'd have taken that turn five times over. Yeah. What's your point? So I was picked up by this. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And it's got to stay wherever it lands. All right, all right, all right, all right. The camera stays. So, Jeremy, tell me a little bit about your UFO story. Uh, well, I guess, you know, we were here one evening up on the uh, porch and we were talking and carrying on and uh, we had just looked up at the sky and saw something going across the sky and I asked uh, Donnie, I said, what is that, man? And he looked at it and said, I don't know. I said, it's kind of strange looking, isn't it? And he said, yeah. Right, and it just came across the sky, odd lights, bright lights. It was kind of silver shiny kind of reflective of the sun, uh, kind of rectangled looking, but you know, where it would be straight edges, it was kind of rounded off. Mm -hmm. And I just took my phone out and took a couple pictures of it, so. Was it moving pretty fast or slow? Not really fast. There was no trail behind it. Uh, there was no sound. It was just really, really odd looking because you can see, you know, a plane if it's going in the sky. You can see a helicopter what it is. And you know, we saw this thing and it wasn't neither. If you'd like to share your passion with America, Facebook us or find us at americasoddities.com. As I walked to the yard, I uh, saw a shadow on the ground that passed by me, so it, it had me to look up. And then we're off to Bourbonville. We're off to Bur yeah. Bur 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 oh, Hold on, let me Bar make it's sure Bar I get... It's Barberville, no. not Barbersville. No. no, yes, that's right. You have a propensity to put S's into words that don't have them. It's like going to Walmarts. Walmarts. Illinois. Uh, Illinois. I am not fighting that one again. <laughs> no, you still so bite. With the silent S. <laughs> you still bite. <laughs> so, Tim, tell me your amazing UFO story. The one that I shared with Tom, you know, with the crypto, is, uh, is the latest or the last one. And I was. Um, coming out to, to feed my dog, and um, as I walked through the yard, I uh, saw a shadow on the ground that passed by me, so it, it had me to look up. And I saw this black object, and uh, really kind of just, you know, blowed it off and kept kept going. And as I got out there, I turned around and looked, and I saw this, this thing just hovering and not really moving. So, you know, it wasn't a bird, it wasn't a, a plane or something. But as I was looking, this, this object had some smaller ones, smaller uh, things going around it. And, um, and I really didn't know what to think until I saw, looks like on a jet or a plane, I saw the comm trail. You know, I knew that they, were, they had to be planes. And um, they were still going around it, but this thing, after about five minutes, it just took off. You know, and I knew it was something. wasn't uh, wasn't a regular plane, because the size of it, uh, I, if I was guessing, I'd say five or six times larger than the the smaller ones that were leaving the comm trails. So, uh, what shape, or did it have a color, or? It was the darkest black I've ever seen, in a, especially in a, a daylight, bright sky, um, and it was. Um, shaped almost like a, 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 not a bird because it was, the front end was rounded, but the way that the sides came back mm -hmm. made you think of wings uh, because it was, and I know it wasn't a bird because it was nothing else behind it. It was just like a, a, a round wing section. 
one piece. Do you believe that there are a lot of a lot of experiences people are having and they're just not willing to share them because they're afraid that people are going to think they're crazy? Yes. Well, Tim, I, t I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to share your story with us and uh, with America. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If you'd like to share your passion with America, Facebook us or find us at americasoddities.com. Hey, hey, you getting, you getting, is this good? Is this yeah, good? I'm getting okay, this. great. All right, it didn't work. Now it worked. <laughs> you can put your Malibu Barbie down now. I'm, I'm burning tape here, man. You got fun. Hi. <laughs> that was not funny. Therefore, I'm leaving you. He seemed credible to me. Well, I, don't know I mean, every, not to doubt the man. I mean, no, but everyone we met seemed very credible. I mean, from the Bigfoot to the UFO. I mean, Bigfoot story with you know uh, Stephen. Yep. You know, I will admit, yes, I had the lighting and the audio backwards when it come to being. You know. Yeah, that, you messed that up. Right? I <laughs> not the guy you're supposed to be. Yeah, I know. Hiding from the camera, unless of course. It was intentional. Maybe it was Freudian. Maybe you decided you needed to hide me. Let me hear your voice again. There's a UFO. So tell me more about your UFO. I know, it's terrible. It'd actually be more like Yoda. UFO I saw. Let's hit it. Oh my god, what's up next, man? Think about it. Yoda and UFOs.